ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, makes and sizes, it's time once again to circle the wagons of the Coon Prairie Ramblers in the house. Yeah, that's where we talk about this and that, this and that, and along to help us do that, we got Luke, the Rebel. Hello, Duke. baby. You know what I like. Oh, the big bumper. And then we got uh, that guy over there, Mark. Oh, no, I have. He's wiping his eyes. He's sleepy. You didn't put him to sleep. Wait a minute. I got I got I you just thought I know the name. Oh, this is a new name. I've got a new name for Mark. It's a new name here. he came up with. Uh oh. Me Mel's calling name. names, calling people names this morning. Last week it was something. It. What was it last week? I don't remember. Who knows? I can't find it now. There you Where's go. Where's my new name? Oh, you darn. better carry on. Time's ticking. Oh, never mind. It never mind. Uh, it's the. Uh, oh, I'll think of it later. Anyway, Mark, magnificent. That Mark. guy over there, Mark. Mark, Producer what's his name? Mark the magnificent. And we got me, the Amiable Alphable Man About Town, Debonair, Fleet of Foot, um, Loquacious. I, I was, I'm not sure how I want to use that word. Uh, too bad. You already are. Oh, okay, okay. And then um, we got a special guest. We do. Oh, wait a minute. Melman from Melville. Uh, again? We, <laughs> Still? Yeah. And we got a special guest. We have Shelly Peacock from the airport. Good morning. The airport lady. The airport lady. <laughs> yeah. And the lady that rides around in the go kart. There's a bunch of them yeah. do that. Anywhere you go. Golf cart. Golf cart. <laughs> Golf cart. Yeah. Golf cart. Oh. Go -kart. Are, you, are you still looking for that? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it would be much more fun. You should put in for one. See if the city yeah. will get you that out of their budget. The go kart. Sounds good to me. Anyway, That's she's been at the airport uh, a few years, right? That's right. You know what? I don't really don't know anything about that airport except taco tuesday that's the only thing i know about it. that's why you invited her here so we can talk about tacos taco oh wait a minute priorities there's there's one person i do know of i wrote an article about her pat hange oh yes is she, she is she still around she's like a legend at our airport she really is yeah um she's 93 years old she still holds the pilot license i believe and it. her plane is still and, sitting there in that little hangar right well she did just sell it Oh. But she's not just a pilot. She's she holds many uh, commercial license, uh, AMP. Yeah. Wow. Uh, IA. She worked on planes for a long time, but she can still fly. And something about a gliding school yes. or something she like that. She had a gliding school there. Um, her and Harriet. I'm not sure Harriet's last name. I can't remember, but I interviewed yeah. him back in the '80s and wrote a story about him. Okay, so you wrote you wrote a story too back in the eighties, yeah. and then in a long in, time ago in the two thousand eight, I wrote a story. Did you really? Yeah, they were amazing out there at the airport. Um, they did have a glider school, and so many people went out there to take glider lessons. Yeah. To this day, there's people that come out to the airport and ask about her, and they show me in their logbook where. They had flight time with. Yeah, I need a nice big portrait of her hanging out there somewhere. We do have a couple of pictures of do her you? hanging up in good. the terminal. Very yes, good. honor yes. her that way. We does do. She, does yep. she still fly? She still flies. Um, yeah. I've taken her up a couple of times, and oh. any chance she gets, she wants to go flying. Oh, you so fly too? I fly too. Wow. Well, no, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, I just got sense. my license last November. Yeah. So. Well, she back when I wrote the article, two thousand eight, I think. Uh, she offered to take me up, but she was like in her late 80s then oh, or something yes. like that. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, I think I'd like to. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> um, let, she me, was, let me get that schedule. I'll get back with you. Yeah, yeah. She was when I saw her land her plane for the first time mm -hmm. since I was out there managing the airport. I have never seen anybody grease a landing as slick as hers. <laughs> wow. I am not kidding. Define greasing the landing for oh, our listeners. Oh, it was the smoothest landing. I, uh, you know, my stomach was kind of nervous for her and and knots, and all I kept seeing was her coming around the pattern, thinking, oh, you know, I've never seen her land before. Um, but oh my gosh, smooth like a butterfly lighting on a flower. Uh, yes. There you go. Yep. She's amazing. So, how did you happen to end up at the airport? Well, so where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Jacksonville. Oh, right. Um, born and raised there, there, and I've lived here now 16 years, um, and been working for the city for 15. I started out in the water department, uh, moved from the water department over to public works, and after public works, I worked up at City Hall for several years and wow. kind of um, overseeing certain projects with the city. 
And then one time there was a meeting um, at the airport for FAA and FDOT meeting. It was a lighting project at the airport, and they needed someone to go out there uh, to represent the city. So I went out there, and I ended up learning about the grants for the airport, and uh, every year I started started to get grants for the airport and um they the grants kept getting bigger and bigger and oh now i'm doing a runway rehab that's 1.4 million just from faa that doesn't include fdot side of it wow so well what's the biggest plane that you can take into there like like we've a, had a dc3 like a, C5, a c5 we've had a dc3 747 no what's no. a d3 I don't, a dc3 i'm just throwing um, these things around yeah. i don't even know what they <laughs> yeah, are, <you> are. Okay. <laughs> Not a 747, that's for sure. Yeah. They might be able to land, but they won't mm -hmm. be able to take off again. Oh. Yeah. They could so, land. It's small In an general emergency. aviation. Uh, like as soon as they hit the ground, they throw the brakes on. Oh, throw Rrr. the brakes on all the way. Oh, they all, they all did that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the yeah. sod mm -hmm. just kind of goes up. And <laughs> yeah, we have a paved runway and a grass <clears throat> runway, and our grass <clears throat> runway is really good. We had, <clears throat> we had a project for that two years ago. And There's a lot going on out there, a lot of improvements. In the last year, the change of management, a lot of people were very happy about that. Yeah, thank you. So the big plane, the, the plane you're talking about, though, how big is that one? A DC how many passengers? Oh, it would hold, um, gosh. Two people. It is, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, here's the one thing I want, I've always wondered, wondered. You know, usually when you land at airport, you know, you, you connect, you, you talk to the, the tower, but we don't have a tower. Okay, that's right. We don't have a tower. We have a what we call a unicom frequency. And all airports, um, they either have a tower or a unicom frequency. And it's listed on the chart um, what our frequency is. So anybody doing their flight plan, flying to Arcadia, that's the first thing they look at is the frequency. So when they come in 10 miles out, they start calling in, uh, saying who they are, um, their plane, their end number, and how many miles out. And who, who do they talk to? They're talking to each other. So they're just announcing. But there's somebody at the airport. We're there listening, but we're not to, we don't really yeah. communicate with them. But they, you just naturally call in 10 miles out and then five miles out. And then there's a pattern. They come in hmm. and it's downwind, base, mm -hmm. and final. And that's how they communicate. Hmm. So it's well, pretty simple. What are you can tell when you're 10 miles out or five miles out? You they're just, like markers you can see from the air. Yeah, you just kind of let, when a pilot calls in, they're just letting you know letting the other pilots know that they're 10 miles south of the airport or north of the airport. Well, how do they know, how do they gauge five miles or 10 miles? Oh, uh, By landmarks? No, uh, they have software, um, different programs. Oh. One of the biggest ones is called Flight, um, For Flight, and it okay. shows how far out they are. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. It shows their flight plan. Yeah, it's ain't like back everything. in the day, the Wright brothers were like, oh, I'm, yeah. down here, I'm down here by this big building. I don't know what it is, but it's... Uh, <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> But wow. um, yeah, so every they all communicate, and we're which is good because we're a non-towered airport, and we've well, that, been very safe over there. And okay, they all okay. So there's there is a person there at the airport that they're talking to, we're or listening. not? We're listening. We're not. You're just listening. So they they're talking to each other. So they're coordinating, like who's going to land first? Yes, they oh. know. There's, I mean, there are rules yeah. with FAA that they know who would be first landing. If, if they're on final, if there's two guys on yeah. final, then they need to communicate guess, really well. I guess I've watched too many movies where, you know, the, the guy up in the, you know, up in the tower, he's sweating. I, think, oh, I yes. don't know. You're thinking yeah. about airplane. You saw that movie <laughs> yeah. once many times. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the wrong day to give up sniffing glue. Dude's like pouring sweat. Yeah. 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 yeah so they do communicate very well. And, um, and, and that's what they're trained to do. Mm -hmm. So, um, a lot of pilots that fly out of towered airports, sometimes going to a non-towered airport makes them nervous because they're so used to an air traffic controller telling them what to do, what yeah. heading to stay on, look for traffic or whatever. Yeah. But, um, All right. Well, our time is up for this first segment already. Can you believe how fast 10 minutes goes by? All right. We're coming in for a smooth landing in segment two in just a moment. So y'all sit tight and we'll be right back. Hey, we're back again, the Coon Prairie Ramblers, and we got me, the amiable, applicable mailman from Melville. Again. We got Luke the Rebel without a clue. That Still. Mouthy guy down there. Hey. And we got... You mean yeah. Southie, not Mouthy. Oh, yeah, that's what I, I, I 
I, I regress. There you go. Anyway, and we have ma the mark of obliteration. <laughs> obliteration? Where does he get his Obliter name? Obliteration. My That's mother. But one of her favorite so terms, like her favorite term would be, you blithering idiot. So what are you trying to say? So he heard that a lot. Yeah, what are you trying to say about No, you? no, she was always sent to my brother. Yeah, <laughs> you better snatch him across that table, give him an attitude yeah. adjustment. Yeah. And we got Shelly Peacock from the airport. And we got all kinds of interesting things. Yeah, we, we had got a, pretty, a pretty peacock flew in today, and she's with us today. Let's put it that way. How about that? Peacock wearing blue. Well, they have a lot um, of blue on them. I got a question. Okay. You are. Taco person. Tuesday. Now, I'm very familiar with the airport because of Taco Tuesday. I know how, where the gate is. I know how to get in there. <laughs> That's why and I, I am goes. blown away with all these beautiful airplanes that fly in there. Oh, and before. That's not I, a question. Uh, and, but there was this one. There's Sometimes they come in with an, uh, with an airplane that says experimental. Yes. Does that mean, what does that mean? It's experimental. It's an experimental. It did not have to meet the uh, certifications like a other it aircraft. It has to fly. Like, I want to fly in that. <laughs> <laughs> like it, uh, Cessnas. So. And yeah. Cessnas are, I think um, it'll stay in the air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Maybe. But, so what, how, what makes it legal? I mean, well, um, if you look inside one, you got one little button there, one little yeah. button there, and you got a little joystick. One for land, about, one for takeoff. Yeah. And that's about it. That's about <laughs> it. I think and, that's what, and a parachute. Isn't that what John Denver died in? It was like one of them experimental, Sonics, experimental planes. Yes. Like throw together airplanes at the house. They There are so yourself, many kid. people that, yes, build their own planes. They come in Crazy. kits. Get me some duct tape and a hot glue gun, y'all. Watch me work. No. I got this. <laughs> My mom's got an old sheet in the back. Let's stretch it across this right. stick and see what happens. Hold my RC. But that is experimental. They, they, yeah. they come in kits, a lot of them. And it says it has, it has to say that. Yes. In their right mind. It doesn't would say want to be built in by it. Jerry. Or, no, you know, or, it has to say experimental. It says Jerry rigged by Jerry. <laughs> yeah. But there are a lot of pilots that I meet all the time. Um, one at the fuel pump this morning, he built his own plane. And, Daredevils. Um, yeah. That's one of those few things in life that I think I don't think I would trust myself to build if I'm going to do it. Uh, At least you're that, aware of that. I, I'm that, just smart uh, enough to. I, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not the brightest crayon in a box, but I'm smart enough to realize that I'm not going to want to build an airplane no. that I'm in the air in. Not and, unless you're a kamikaze pilot. It, well, if that would be a different out. story. If I'm wanting to crash, I'd probably build my own plane. And here's yeah. something else. Um, when you're a pilot, you have to have a medical um, you have to pass the FAA medical sure. requirements. You'll go through mm -hmm. the heart condition. Or... In experimental, you don't hmm. need all that. You can have heart what? attacks. And, yes. <laughs> I want to oh, see what literally. they're doing. It's different. You can have a basic med. Okay. We're going to take this plane that I just built in my backyard. We're going to see how high I can fly this That's thing. That's right. And I do have a heart condition, by the way, y'all. Who wants to jump in with me? <laughs> <laughs> so I... At it's not likely that I, at my age, could get a, a license, right? Yes, it is. I a can? lot of people start, yes. I can? Of course you oh. can. Ain't nothing wrong with you sitting hey, crazy. Hey, 48 years ago, <laughs> I was taking lessons. Really? At Blyville Air Force Base. They don't make those planes anymore. Arkansas. No. no. no it was, by it was, so it was a private club on the, on the Air Force Base. So many people. I started when I was 20. I soloed a plane at 20 years old at Herlong Airport in Jacksonville. I soloed the plane and never had anything else to do with it again until I came to Arcadia and started managing the airport. Yeah. So, wow. so many people get back into it and it's never too late. I've always... I, 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 as I long as you can pass a medical. Or yeah. Fly an well, that's what, that's what I'm concerned about. I'll bid you a plane. You can, yeah. fly. you can fly an experimental. Me. Come on, Luke. Me, me, me no, see, you build him see, a plane. I, I, I don't want to fly an experimental one. There's a lot of nice ones. I mean, there's nothing well, wrong with them. Road okay. tax engines and... I got a, I got a, yeah, well, I got a 383 stroker enough. I just built. Yeah. What we use that for the engine? Oh, I got a lawn chair I can do with a plastic one. Yeah. 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 So uh, it, it, as long as you get, you know, this button, that button, and, and the joystick. You're trained to do it, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, but anyway, we got you, we're getting parts together over here to build your airplane. Well, I got a motor. He's got a lawn chair. Got a lawn chair. All, <laughs> all we need so, is some balloons <laughs> and a couple and wings and we're going. Bailing wire. Some Gorilla Glue, and we're good to go. Good to go. Hey, that That's 383. Cool. I think that old 383 I built. I'll take pictures. Get her good. No. <laughs> well, I'll stay on the ground. <laughs> Shelly, have you ever seen one that came in experimental that you thinking, surely this is not a plane? Have you ever seen one of those? 
the one I'm going to build. I see all or, different or heights, you, you, you but can, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> what I'm going to build. <laughs> like, I don't even think that thing's going to take off. Actually, you'd be so surprised. Uh, I mean, I was when I first would see them, but yeah, yeah. no, it's all if the time. If I built one and even got off the ground two foot, and I'd be some shocked of them, and awed. <laughs> some of them have That's wings. Right, wings you can almost po po poke your hole through, your finger There's through. There's some fabric yeah. wings, yeah. Yeah. yes. Yeah. We'll build one. We're we the wrong brothers. We're, yeah, we're not the right, yeah, brothers. We're not right here. We're, we're, the, Mark. we're the wrong totally brothers. Totally wrong brothers. brothers. Yes. There you go. And you can read well, Crash Jackson over there. <laughs> rename we'll rename this. No. <laughs> Crash Jackson. Crash yeah. Jackson. <laughs> the wrong brothers. And that's our yeah. test pilot. I fly away, <laughs> oh glory. I no, he ain't flying away nowhere. He, that, where's that plane going to take him to? Straight to the scene of the crash. That's right. <laughs> and another thing, I'm amazed at the people. You, know, you go up to the taco truck you know, when, on Taco Tuesday, and you'll be listening to conversations. And this guy said, "We've got to get back to Miami uh, pretty soon. Let's get this talk." Dude, they just had go. a dude. They, cra they had a guy crash on his way up here to talk about <laughs> He actually it was an emergency here, landing, and, and he did. He, and he, he was an emergency landing is a yes. controlled crash, basically. Yes. <laughs> And it had nothing to do with your airport. He was on the way to that's, your airport, right? That's just it. Every Taco <clears throat> Tuesday, every plane <clears throat> is flying in from somewhere. Miami, yeah. Fort Lauderdale, I had some dudes Daytona. From coming, I heard they had guys coming from Georgia one time. So, yes. So Vladimir Putin over in Russia, <laughs> he's looking at the r radar. And he was thinking, why is everybody c converging on Arcadia? I had someone pull up like a, a web of... All the oh yeah, like a like, spider web. Like, yeah, the air traffic. Yeah, yes, I've seen those. Those are pretty cool. Of all the planes where they came from, and it was amazing to all look at. They all Arcadia. came to Arcadia. Yes, for tacos. That's right. Good yeah. tacos. Yeah. And they have really good barbecue out there too. We yeah. have good Let's barbecue not, also. Uh, and yes. them out. And we've had Jose here. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he's a good the barbecue yes. is great. Uh, the barbecue market, is marketing really people good. With, with the thirst, uh, what are they thirst called? Thirst smashers. Thirst smashers. The, thirst, the Palmers. Good. I love those guys. Yes, I do too. Good, um, good we thoughts. also have an ice cream smoothie truck. She'll, Ooh. I think she's going to be back out in October. And um, her husband has the burrito truck. So we'll we're going to get, yeah, come October's our busy season. Um, October little, through March yeah. or April. And gotta we'll have, have more out there. I saw in one of, oh, Luke, she's got a, a channel. And I was YouTube watching channel. I, I, what? I, I, a YouTube channel. He just says a channel. What kind it. of channel would that be? I thought he said chow. No, <laughs> channel, like YouTube channel. But anyway, I was watching one of her videos, and you said that uh, to get to draw people to Arcadia, you lowered the gas and you offered tacos. That's right. <laughs> hey, pilots are cheap. <laughs> they, um, yeah. well, plus, you got our good buddy Keith Mathis out there playing music. Yes. And He's a he draw is for a excellent. lot of people. Yes. We have so many people that enjoy. Just sitting there, having lunch, it's and very listening. relaxing. Yes, it, mm. it creates a nice ambience to that atmosphere yes, out there. We've been trying to get him on the radio. Oh, I can't do that. I, can't, I just can't do it or whatever. Oh, I'm going to talk to him then. I'm going to put you on him too. We're going to yes. work on you from all sides. Sounds I want good. To tell him, bring your guitar. We'll do a song yes. with you. Yes. I played do, music with him many a time. He's a good I guy. I do not sing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can. You got to find the right <laughs> song. Yes. Of course, everything sounds in good. In my car. In, everything sounds out. good in the shower because the yes. acoustics. Everything shower or my car. Oh, that's yeah. it. That's right. But yeah, we got to get Keith here. Yeah. Maybe if it if it takes it, maybe get both y'all at the same time. Okay. If that's what it takes to get him in here. I no, won't it, sing, is, but I'll. Is Keith going to be a year round? Is he year round? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Come rain he, or shine, listen, he's there. He only shows up uh, just because he enjoys doing it, mm -hmm. and he has a tip jar out there. I try to make sure everybody's aware of tipping. Yeah. Um, because he's right. out there just singing his heart out, and it's hot out it's there. It's hot and blue. Um, yes. And it appears to me that people are pretty good at tipping. You know, and, you know I've, I've said yeah. yeah, And he has a couple of different uh, strategic things. I see that. Yes. He's yeah, slick. He's, he's slick. Well, anyway, we're going to have to get on out of here. Segment two is done snook by us. And we forgot to do the word of the week. So we're going to come back with that in a short, in our short. So y'all sit tight. We'll be right on back. Lord have mercy. We're back again to Coon Prairie, ramblers rambling right along, side by side, with Shelly Peacock and the Ark of Obliteration. No, no, no. Like I said, crying. what am I, like, trying to destroy the Earth or something? Yeah. Like, I'm the bad yeah. guy like a superhero. You know, yeah. Yeah. What? I, have a, I have an airport question. You're talking about the experimental planes and, the, and other planes. What does the airplane cost? Oh, Obviously, they can be millions of dollars for jets and all that, but like you your can, everyday like little Cessna or something that people fly around here. What what do those usually run? 
30 to 50, 60,000. Like, uh, like, like, uh, like new ones, those are old ones. A uh, new one would be, could be 200, 300,000. So like, you know, you could, like for the price of a, like the price of a car. Yeah. You could find one. Yeah. What is it? What about those experimental ones? That's a buck fifty if you hey. get a, if you got a coupon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, not. I'm not going to build an experimental one, and yeah. I'm not going to reload. I'm not going to load my parachute. I'm not going to. Yeah, what, do my own as parachute. Cirrus has a parachute. Let me pack yes. it for you, Mel. Come on, yes. mm. trust me. Um, what, so what, what, is, is, what does it you cost? You can find a plane, a, a nice, decent plane for fifty thousand. Huh. I mean, now yeah. in the last couple mm. years, things yeah. have gone up a lot. Obviously, but, yeah. Yeah. What's what, it cost to get your license? Around eight thousand. That's all. Eight to ten, yeah. That's all pocket change. Yeah, pocket change. I got to pay uh, right here. You can pay but, as you go. You yeah. can pay uh, your instructor as you go. Mm -hmm. The fuel, it all. I mean, you add all that into the. Uh, but those experimental planes, seriously, what do they run? What do they cost? Um, you can get a new one. Uh, they're probably eighty thousand. Look, look at Mark's uh, wheels are churning over yeah. there. I just don't. I don't I need. See. I don't need that. I just need a kit. See, he's got. You need a kit. He's got I, a race. I, I don't, You're gonna put it together. I, I, just, hey, I didn't know. I don't need just a blueprint. Before we digress too far, we got the word of the week. Oh, I yeah. think it's a little late now. No, oh come on. No, we don't. No, we don't burn two and a half. Uh, thing. We don't. I ain't gonna waste waste a word on this because we ain't got time to use it. I got a word. Give us a word. Well, give, give, Blithering. Give, give him the thing. Blithering. That's the word. Blithering. Blithering. Because he can't say blithering. it. He's a, a blithering. <laughs> blithering. It's, oh, drop the A. It's just plain yeah, blithering. Yeah, so that's what we're trying to explain. Which I said that like a half hour ago. Yeah, and he's still like, it's a blithering. No, it, it's A. Your mom was saying okay, A. Okay. The letter A. A blithering. A. All right. That's not making you sound Ooh. Canadian. A? Yeah. A. 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 Uh, uh, a. Uh. So eight thousand dollars to get your license? Yes, roughly. Um, Will you teach me? Uh, I'm not an instructor, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> but I can take you flying. I can take a passenger up. Can you can you get in a car and say we're going to practice? We're, we're going to act like this is an airplane. We're going to practice. Can you do that? You can sit on the toilet for ten years. She just said she's not a, okay. Well, I ain't going. But to not do with that. somebody because you have to have two. You're toilets. soloing there in there. What kind of plane do you got? I have a 172, a what? Cessna 172. You own that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a four seater. Hmm. How yeah. far can you fly? It's in a that 1956. Thing? You know what? Ooh. I've been trying to talk. I've been trying to talk. Uh, Joel, not Joel. Okay. Jordan. Jordan. Jordan to take me up. Dariso. Give oh, give yeah. a last name so we know yeah. who you're talking he has about. A one, he has a 182, I believe. He says he will. But the thing is, it never happens. He's busy, yeah. I know. He would take you hey. up, though. Mm -mm. He's, only, he's busy out there riding that one wheel thing. What's oh, the, yeah, the one wheel. <laughs> what's, the, what's the range on that, on one of those planes? Like on the tank. I, you go out, you fill it up. How far can you fly? Okay, so I burn eight gallons an hour. Um, Dude. I can go for about maybe like four hours, five hours. I want to fill up in four so hours. So he goes two hours out and two hours back. So how, yeah, far, how far away is that? I mean, I can go to Jacksonville. I can go. I can go wherever I need to go. But I'm, yeah, I'm like, going to stop in like four hours and fill up. So you fly for four hours. Yeah. What if you can't jump out, and stretch your leg, walk out on the wing? What stretch if? Your yeah. But this what is what everybody leg? does, really. I mean, there are people that have to go to meetings or go out of town, visit uh, family, and they're traveling with it. What but, if you're flying along, and you're getting low on gas, and you think I want to drop it, you know, stop at that place, mm -hmm. and you see there's a sign that says we're out. Then, okay, then you what do you do? You crash and die, of course. <laughs> uh, crash it's an FAA requirement that you have um, usually an hour worth of fuel, 30 minutes to an hour worth of fuel um, mm -hmm. in your plane before you get oh. to that point. So that if you land somewhere that doesn't have gas or their pump isn't working, you can make it to the next airport. Yeah. So you have a little meter that says, dee, 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 dee. Hey, come yeah. on, come on. You only got an hour left. No, you watch your gauges and you yeah. do the math and make sure. Unless you're in experimental and you ain't got that gauge. You might have that gauge, yeah. Oh. They have a lot in there. Really? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was only two buttons and a stick. They have and a horn. Yeah. <laughs> and a horn. <laughs> so you can fly to Jacksonville pretty much before you have to stop, stop. and get gas. Yeah. Hmm. But this is what a lot of people do around here in Florida. Yeah. People fly, go have breakfast somewhere in Sebring, mm -hmm. have breakfast in LaBelle. There's a little cafe at their airport. 
um, so many people with planes, they just take their wife or a friend and just go have lunch somewhere or just to another airport. That's what they do. Hmm. That's, the, are, it's like a hobby. and that's. Are the skies crowded? Yes. Okay. And everybody has, well, not everybody, but um, ADSB, it shows traffic on your four flight that I was telling you about earlier. Hmm. And you watch for that. But. Hmm. Yeah, there's it's a lot of traffic out there. Yeah. When it looks like you're the only one up there, then you look at the four flight and you see there's a lot of people around you. And I've heard that term ever since I was a little kid. That you know the the crowded skies. Yeah. Or, yeah. So how? What's that? What's that was World War Two when you were little. What's like the? the they were real crowded over in Germany. That like, I've been. Yeah, at? like no, like most, like most, like private oh, the planes. Small yeah. general yeah. aviation planes. Yeah. You can actually uh, over populated areas. You can fly at a thousand feet. Um, Usually around thousand or say five thousand, seven thousand. Hmm. But no. if you're just going to like here to LaBelle, yeah, you can just do fifteen hundred feet and or twenty five hundred, wherever can, it's smooth and comfortable. Can you look at a plane and tell how high it is? Guess not really, but kind of, sort of. Yeah. If it's in the pattern, I can tell if they're at a thousand feet. I know what that looks like. Yeah, hmm. yeah. That's Does that cool. put you up in the cl in the clouds or no? No, when unless you, the ceiling's low. But yeah. yeah. When you um. When you get a pilot's license, is there different types of pilot's license? Like yes. driver's license? You know, because you got like, you know, you semi drivers on the road, they got a class A. So I have, right. So I only carry a private pilot license. I can carry passengers. Um, I can't fly in bad weather because I'm not instrument rated. Um, usually that's the next step. You go for your instrument ratings. And then after that, you can go for commercial and um, multi engine. You can keep on going. Um, you can go to CFI, be a certified flight instructor, um, then get paid. Um, so even as a commercial pilot, you can get paid. Huh. What, uh, what's like the top license you have? It would be a certified instructor, MEI, multi-engine instructor, um, those qualifications. You would be able to do everything with it. So, like, okay, that, no, that last question I have, and then I'll be done with airplane questions. <laughs> if, like, say, because you, you have, you're, you're a prop plane, right? Yes. You have to have a different license to drive something with a jet engine on it. Yes. So it's two different. That's totally different. Different performance. Um, even though, that. even like, like a small, like, private jet. It, right. You got to have a different license. Right. Hmm. It would be a, a high performance rating. Um, it could be a multi engine. Um, mm -hmm. But yes. Imagine that if you, like, to, to drive a sports car, you'd have to have like a special license. I can give you another example. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. You can drive your beater over there and have regular license, or if you want to drive, if I want to fly, <laughs> okay. So there's planes that are nose wheel and planes that are tail wheel. If I want to fly a tail wheel airplane, I have to get that rating before I can fly it. That's crazy. That's a lot of that's a lot of work. You're always learning in aviation. Huh. There's always more to learn. What are you taking my picture for? You break your yeah, camera? Take your picture. Take my picture. Will you? I know. Take your picture. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, take, it's it was radio. Shelly. He wants one with Shelly. It's radio. You can't. Nobody can see that. Oh. Hey, thank okay. goodness. Thank you. Uh, I'm Anyways, it, I'm, my, my, I'm sorry I took that segment with ask, oh. asking questions. Um, you got one question. You got, out of you got thirty seconds. Thirty do, seconds. Do you have trainers out there? Or, or? We have. Uh, there are flight instructors that come in and out through the airport. Um, anybody who wants to learn, I can definitely put y'all in touch with a flight instructor. And there is an uh, airplane out there. For rent. It's so, and it's a 172. It's not experimental. <laughs> okay. It's Cessna. All right, right, All right, here we go. Segment three down the tubes. Y'all stick around. Shop local, be local, and we'll see you in a few. Hey, we're back again. Oh, man, we're excited. I don't know what about, but anyway, this Thank is the Cool Prey <laughs> Ramblers, and we're ra we're still circled up and gathered and. Ready to go, talking about this and that and this and that. We got Mark over there, Luke, me, the Ami of Belfort, you know, you know, that guy. And um, Shelly Peacock from the airport. What's your title? Airport director. Airport director. AD. I've always wanted to be a director. AD. 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 Man, I put her in a school world, she'd be athletic director. We've been running all the sports programs. That's here. right. Oh, yeah. Or artistic director. You uh -huh. Hey, it's time for the hip bomb, guys. Well, let's get excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is about as excited as I get on a Monday morning. Well, speaking what? of airplanes, yeah. I guess we're going to really drop the bomb today. Buckle up and hang on, because here we go.
And that was our bomb. Actually, our bomb is probably what we're going to be talking about next. We like to bomb a lot one way or the other. So anyhow, y'all sit back and I hope you survive it because here we go. We got a if bomb. Somebody thought one up a while ago while I wasn't looking. The mark of obliteration uh, talks about it. Okay, let's have it. If you could fly. You love that name, don't you? He's going to kill you later. It makes no sense. If you could fly one person <laughs> in to the Arcadia Airport to come to our show, or your show, I should say, uh, who would it be and why? Who would it be? Yeah, who would you fly into Arcadia to come <clears throat> to the show? All the way from Trump Tower, I would have Donald Trump fly in. That's pretty good. Wouldn't yeah. that be good? Well, this is the oh. thing. He lives right down in Mar-a-Lago, which now, is like a problem. There's, well, a big, there's a big problem. He can't get that big plane in here. <laughs> no. I'm so sure he would have he to, but he, he has a helicopter. Make a little switch. He does have a helicopter. Helicopter. Yes. How many, heli how many helicopters does it say have Trump there? on the side of it? We have a lot of helicopters that come in, and it does say Trump on the side. Have you seen it? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Has he ever? Not in Arcadia. Oh. No. <laughs> and that's a different. That's a different license too, isn't it? Helicopter rating. Yes. I don't mm. got it. He's a helicopter pilot. Mm. I'm not yeah. sure about Mark helicopters. Fusco. Mark Fusco was a helicopter pilot in the Navy. Yeah. You wouldn't want Trump on the show? I got nothing against him, but you wouldn't get a word in edgewise. No, I, I would. No, I would. you wouldn't. I would. No, this He'd would, be busy talking about himself. I would no, say, this excuse me, Mr. Trump. I, I would love And his bodyguards would wrestle you to the ground. I would love to bring him on the show because I would yeah. watch him battle. I'd watch these well, two while battles. The ba watch him. While the bodyguards are taking me to the ground, I'm going to be saying, Mr. Trump, I got a question for you. You know, I, would I, don't love care. To, I would love to see them two battle out over air time. Duct tape. Yeah. Yeah. Watch them two battle over air time. The, the, the thing is, if he was be kind enough to grace us with his uh, uh, appearance at this show, he would he would be amiable, affable, just like me. You ever see him give a speech? He don't take a breath. That's okay. He breathes well, through his ears. Mark in the morning <laughs> doesn't take a breath. <laughs> Mark does. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, you just took a breath. Okay, I I I I, I apologize. I, you do. I saw you just take a breath. I would bring in the opposite. I would want to bring in Biden. Just what? To, no, no, no. 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 Oh, now hear me on. out. Let hear me, know me out. What day that is. Hear me out. Why? I want to see if he is really. How can I put this politely? You can't. As mentally challenged as he uh, acts oh, on TV. I want to okay. see if it's a front. Or if he's really that messed up. And if he is really that messed up, I want to ask the the people that are with him, yeah. why do you, you allow him to be the president of this you, country? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to get his past Jill. Is. She would enter, uh, go interfere. Well, yeah, because she'd come on, Joe. She got him into the studio by his arm. Mm -hmm. I'm, oh, that's enough, Joe. Let's go now. Well, she needs a council. She can change his diapers. <laughs> Pretty oh. much. I just want, that's the serious. I'd want to see if it's just really, if he is really the way he is on TV or if he's just. If that's a I want to see if he could coherently put a sentence together. Wow. All right. That would just to cure my, my, you know, curiosity. If somebody that's the president of the United States could actually oh. be in that state and he just, that, okay. That's why I would bring him in. Not, okay. Who would you, bring? I really don't want to talk to him. I just want to Who see would I bring in. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. Um, I was just thinking and probably the, only reason I say this, well, not the only reason, but I do like him, Aaron Tippin. He flew into another airport just a few months ago, oh, and I cool. went to it, and I thought, how Mel cool. don't know who that is. You have to tell him. Aaron <laughs> Tippin is a I, I wasn't going to say He's a country it, music country. artist. <laughs> yes. No, I don't know country From a few Matter years Matter of fact, back. I think we just played one of his songs, like, right before I went I out heard there. On the, on the way in, I heard somebody about Aaron You don't Tippin. stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm thinking, well, what's Ain't nothing wrong with a radio. Right. But, yeah, he I flew into it, and he's a pilot, too. He flies a steerman. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I imagine a lot of those guys. So are... he could fly in, and I think Kenny Chesney's a pilot too. Yeah. Well, I think quite a few of those guys are actually pilots. John Travolta, he has his. <laughs> he's got a he's got a seven forty seven. Yeah. He flies into yeah. his house. He drives right up to the house. <laughs> yeah. He's got a terminal <laughs> built into his sold house. I it, but yeah, he, he may does. have. And that was up. And it was here in Florida. It was up in uh, uh, Ocala uh, area. Ocala area. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I wonder how he did that. Careful. <laughs> you know, you're like. You're flying into your own airport at your house with a 747. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of neighborhoods, too, that are um, yeah. have their own runways, too. He's come a long way from Vinny Barbarino. Yeah. And welcome back, Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, uh, I know that down in Key West, like, almost every island has, like, a residential. Private airport. A residential yeah. airport. 
Private so. airstrips, they're all mm-hmm. over. You can open up the Florida charts, and yeah. you can, they're mm-hmm. just there's everywhere. A, there's a, I can think of at least two in DeSoto County. Yeah. Th- no, one. Three. Hang on. Hang McDonald, on one. McDonald's. No, one, two. Yeah. McDonald's yeah. Field. No, hang on. One, two, three. I can think of four. There's one over there off of Beard, Beard Street. Uh, in Nogatee? And Nocatee off of Beard. Beard. Are you familiar with that, with that one? Nocatee. Bel- it's the south of Nocatee. Uh, it used to. Oh be- yeah, yeah. It used to belong to the Wells family. Uh, the. Okay. I didn't know they no. had one out there. Uh, it's That's south. five then. I didn't either. I know you the get, one out on, there. It's on the, beard, you got the guy there by the dump. He said that one. McDonald's. McDonald's. Right? Yeah. yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. McDonald's field. Yep. That one. School with him. The Bright Hour. Twin brother. Bright yeah. Hour's got one. Yeah. Um. Plus, you got these illegal ones that are out there where they drop all the dope. <laughs> yeah. These pastures. I believe uh, the two by four here. ranch had one. Um, Mayaka has one. Uh huh. Mayaka. Yeah. Um, so there, there's like, there's a bunch there's out here. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, so it's when, when, when I, oh, wait a minute. We're digressing. Yeah. When Luke, who yeah. do you have? Who do you have come client? in? Abraham Lincoln. Yes. You gonna resurrect him from the dead and bring him on? Yeah, he's never flown an airplane. I'd like to get his his take on it. Yeah. That would be that would be kind of neat to see, you know, somebody from back mm-hmm. that time period, and put them on a plane and just mm-hmm. see what they think. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember like well, they probably pass out. Well, no. Well, I remember like you you could see I see the interviews with people that from that time period when cars first came out and they first they rode in mm-hmm. a car for the first time. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, they mm-hmm. freak out because they're like, where's yeah. the horse at? Yeah, it's yeah. overwhelming. Well, yeah, yeah, so it's just like, you hand them a cell phone nowadays, but hey, hold that. What is yeah. this? You know. afraid of it. I would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you put well, me in a, in a, in a, in a uh, one of the army jets, you know, I mean, if, you know. A fighter jet? Oh, yeah. man, I'd I mean, love to fly I, one I, of them. I'd pass out. I mean, even though I've been in other planes. I know, like, probably a, bar from like, all over the place. like the Blue Angels, they do, like, flights yes. with, like, celebrities and stuff. I'd pass out just I'd watching them do, do what do. they do. You know, I would love. A lot of people do from the G-forces, yeah. they'll pass out. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'd love to do that. It, that's that like, would be awesome. That's like the ultimate like roller coaster right there. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I ain't lost nothing up there. You got, and them guys, else. And them you got guys somebody are, else, Shelly? Those guys um, are crazy. That's all I can think of right now. Yeah. Those guys are crazy, too. And precision, those precision flyers. Oh. A guy named Sippin? Aaron Tippin. Aaron Tippin. Tippin. Oh, Tippin. Tippin. Tina Turner, I like her, too. Oh, <laughs> he yeah. probably does a little Sippin, too. Yeah. Call him Sippin Tippin when oh, he's yeah. in the bar, Tina right? Rolling, rolling. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. But, um, no, I, I had somebody else before he said his, and I was like, you know what? I'd want to see if that guy's really that, like, slow or not. But okay. then I had, uh, and I just lost, oh, George Strait. I'd like to have George Strait fly in. Oh, yeah. He's pretty yeah. He'd be cool to have him. Amiable, on the show. I think. He'd be yeah. fun to talk to. He'd be kind of fun to talk to. Or, you yeah. know, um, all the women would be beating the door down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Couldn't let them know. I'd Couldn't be live. I'd want, have to lock the door. I want Patsy Klein to fly in. That'd be cool. Oh, she probably gonna get back in an airplane yeah. again after, yeah, no. after what happened to her. After she, you yeah, couldn't she get cr- her back in a plane. That'd be like asking yeah. if Buddy Holly and all Who's them. a big bumper uh, to fly? Yeah, in? exactly. That'd be like asking Richie Valen and then my, hey, y'all want to go hop on this airplane? <laughs> probably yeah. not gonna. You happen. have to sedate him like Mister T. You have to <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ain't gonna play fool. Otis <laughs> Redman and Jim Croce and John Denver. Yeah, yeah all of them. All the many others that died. In yeah, Denver. John Denver died on an experimental. That's a bad rap for airports, isn't it? Well. <laughs> or airplanes. P- pilot air a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. They didn't, they weren't, they couldn't fly by instruments and they tried it anyway and yeah. killed themselves and others. That's what happened a lot. Yes. Jim Reeves, he was flying his own plane and got killed. He's a, he's a famous Ask the boys from Leonard Skinner to see if they want to get on a plane or not. Leonard Shelley, what's the, what's the most common mistake that pilots make hitting the ground <laughs> <laughs> when you're not ready yeah. either uh not calculating their fuel correct yeah running out of fuel That's probably the biggest really? or weather related yeah. Do it. yeah weather and falling out of the sky weather related. Uh, i bet you know that, that well like uh yeah, face plant in your airplane like jfk jr uh, there's weather. another one yeah. yeah yeah i forgot about that one yeah a lot of yeah. famous plane crashes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> that's funny. What's the worst mistake they can make? Yeah, just falling out of the sky, pretty much. Uh, a lot of it, yeah. it is weather related or um, fuel mm-hmm. starvation. Hmm. Fuel starvation. That's me around lunchtime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that plane got yeah. hangry. It crashed. Got hangry. Yeah. That's right. Angry. But uh, came into the hangar and hang- it was yeah. hangry. <laughs> Another one I, I would I would like. A comedian, comedian-wise, I'd love to, if Robin Williams was still alive. I would love to talk to him. 
Like you do an interview with that guy. If you could keep up with him. Well, how do how but do still, we... that was the whole fun That's of it. Right. Just fast yeah. forward. You just yes. give him a give him just give him a topic and let him go. He's gone. How do we and... get them to come here? Okay, you don't have to look for that. We you, lower you the put, fuel price for him. You offer tacos. <laughs> you lower the tacos. Tacos and cheap gas. <laughs> All the tacos you can eat. Yeah. yeah, and we have Keith singing. That's right. We got oh, yeah, to offer. we can get him to come here. Tacos and cheap gas. We'll get anybody crying. That's right. Yeah. And Shelly might even give you a ride on the go-kart. On the golf cart. <laughs> hey. <laughs> go-kart. How can go-kart, they turn that golf-kart. down? <laughs> Is it gas or electric? It's gas. Oh, that's a good one. That's good. You we have, like to, you have to watch this, this fuel starvation on that thing. Yeah, I do. I calculate it all the time. <laughs> we run out of gas out in the middle of nowhere, have to walk in and stink. Well, um, almost out of town. Yeah, we're getting there, ain't we? Um, any like, like you said, uh, somebody wanted to come in and learn how to fly. How, you get a hold of you. What's the number out there? Saying call if they want to have a question. Um, eight six three four nine four seven eight four four. Seven eight four four. You heard it here. And, and go yeah, see you go. her uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Hey, any pl- any future like plans? Like subscribe or anything else and ring the bell. Taco Tuesdays. Um, not right now. We're getting ready to redo our runway, so we will have to shut down just for a little bit of time. But the Taco Tuesday will still happen. How long will that be? How long will we shut down for? Uh, probably uh, maybe three months. Oh, wow. All righty. Well, thanks for being with us today. We hope to have you yeah. back. But right now, we got to ask that question for a long lost brother, our late friend, Mr. Casey Carlton. That question being, what's the frequency, Kenneth? 1480 AM on your radio dial, News Radio WFLN, Arcadia's news and information station.